Okay, so I've just been for a 52 kilometer ride. Top speed 71. I've not been taking it easy. I've been going pretty hard. Bashing around. Uh, lots of really steep rocky climbs. Uh, almost battery used. Don't know if that's focusing there. Uh, 7% and it's flashing. I'm gonna go for a few more laps around the block and see if I can get it to uh, see what it does when it cuts out. Interestingly, it's got a, a sport mode and a, an economy mode. Uh, in economy mode on a full charge, it tops out at about 50 kilometers an hour. It just doesn't let you go over that, which I assumed was you know, a feature of the economy sort of setting. Uh, but I've noticed now with the battery almost flat, it won't get over a, a top speed of about 42, 43 kilometers an hour. And if I put it into sport mode, uh, I can zoom along. If I put it back into economy, the throttle actually doesn't work at all uh, until I get down to about you know, 35, 40 kilometers an hour and then it will, will ease the power back on. So it seems the economy is a, a, a fraction of the, of the top speed in addition to being lower current as well. You can feel it's got less torque. Okay, so I smashed out a few more laps around the block. It's now on 58 kilometers. And uh, reading 0% on the gauge. Still going fine. Uh, still hitting uh, 40 in economy. Uh, I might put it into sport now and just thrash around at full throttle and see if I can get it to cut out or see what it's, it's going to do. Alright, so I'm going to call this a full discharge. 60 kilometers range on the dot. 0% remaining. It's been on 0% since whatever I said before. Is it 50? Okay, so that's our range. Uh, the bike is still working, so whether it's in sport or eco mode, exactly the same. It limits the power and the acceleration. Uh, top speed, about 40 kilometers an hour, even, even now. Uh, been flat for, or showing 0% for a while, the bike still runs, um, still fine. When I went full throttle in sport mode, after a couple of seconds, uh, it did cut and lose all power, and then I got a lost throttle. Um, and then it didn't come back for a few seconds later. But that may have been a speed thing because I was probably doing about 50 k's an hour by then and in sport or economy by the time it's almost flat it limits it to about 40. So there you go. Distance of 60 k's giving it a hard time. I think you could easily get more if you took it uh, a bit more easily. Or I think you could probably safely bank on on say 50 kilometers range if you're really giving it a, a hard time. Yeah, pretty decent. What I'm going to do now is measure the voltage of the battery at flat, or what it considers to be 100% flat, uh, and then we'll see how long it takes to give it a full charge. Should be just over three hours with the, uh, the 10 amp charger if it's a 32 amp hour battery. Zero percent still. Showing 53 volts. Charger is 67.2, which is bang on 4.2 volts for a 16S pack. So, and 53 volts, that's 3.3 volts per cell. So, pretty conservative, although, as we know, with BMS cutoffs, average of 3.3 per cell, we might have one cell that's at 3 volts and the rest are at 3.5 or, or whatever. Okay, so I thought I'd check in. We're still charging. It's been two and a half hours. So with a 32 amp hour battery, 10 amp charger, we'd expect it to take a little over three hours. But interestingly, uh, at two and a half hours, it's saying it's 99% charged. So that would suggest that it's taken about 25 amp hour to, to refill it. So we've either only used 25 amp hour, uh, or our charger is maybe not putting out 10 amps, or the battery's not delivered 32 amp hour as it's quoted so i think we'll have to get uh, a meter in line with the charger uh, and also either get a cycle analyst or some sort of discharge meter to, to measure what sort of amp hours this thing is actually using so just measuring with a multimeter to confirm it's actually just shy of 65 volts total pack voltage so that's an average of about 4.05 volts per cell, uh, which is not 
and it's actually showing 100% now. Uh, so that's you know probably 90 less than 90%. So uh, yeah, she needs more charge. The charge gauge is not accurate. I think uh, the three hours at least of charge time at 10 amps is probably a better way to, to judge. So we'll put that back on and see how, how long it keeps charging.